I do it, I'm like, I got it. I need that thing. <laughs> I really do. It's yeah. so funny. But I don't care if it's the exercise balls or the bike tires or your car tire. Mm -hmm. This is small but mighty. Yep. It is it, indeed. And it, it does everything from small to big, yeah, right? It does from everything indeed. from our little basketballs, from our, our little pool toys, beach yeah. toys, all the way to the big tires in our yeah. with our vehicles, our trucks. Right. And I was thinking it's summertime. We're going to the lake. We're taking the boats yes, out. We the are. biggest thing is we go and we we pull the boat out on the trailer. What's yeah. the first thing we do? We're checking the air on our tires That's on true. the boat trailer, and are you going to be able to move a boat trailer that has a flat tire? Not going to happen. No, it's not. The Airhawk is an actual true air compressor. This isn't an air inflator that you typically right. get, like that blows just air into your yes. air mattress, right? There's exactly. a piston that's actually inside of this, and you're going to notice there's actually a digital display on here as well. So you're going to be able to see everything that you're doing. You can set the PSI to what it needs to be instead yeah. of just doing the, you know, the, yeah. the finger test that right. we do on our bikes, oh, right? Man. It feels like it's inflated. We don't know if it's it's underinflated yeah. or, or, or overinflated. You can set it and forget it. Comes with the six inch hose. You can simply go ahead and plug in right here, screw it in as well. Nice. And what's nice too is that you also have a little LED in the very front. So, of course, you know, when you get a flat tire, it's sure. nighttime. Yeah, right? of course, Murphy's Law. <laughs> for you can sure. see exactly what you're doing. Well, with and how the many times LED. have you pulled up to that little compressor at the gas station? And first of all, you don't have any quarters. Then you're feeding Never. quarters and feeding quarters and feeding quarters. <laughs> I don't trust those little um, gauges that they have on those things, mm -hmm. like the little stick either. I just don't feel like they're accurate and I don't care whether it's safety because certainly the, the here in Florida when it's so hot you, you can lose tire pressure a lot faster than you do normally or conversely in Minnesota same thing when it's really really cold you have to make sure that your tire pressure is is all calibrated as well and summer is here like you said Justin and boy you got pool toys you got floaties <laughs> you got inflatable inner tubes I mean you got the whole nine yards and we think on. we're gonna you know be you know shoot some hoops right yeah and we go to the garage and what ends up happening is we go to get our basketball and of course it's flat within seconds yeah we can go ahead and inflate yep. our basketball and the best part is you actually have a place to store all of the little <laughs> adapters I which I think is so great smart because I gotta tell you every single time we played a lot oh, of beach volleyball yeah. you know we're I'm from South Florida my dad is a, a, a volleyball player these are the hardest things to keep track of. Is that true? Um, so there's an actual little place where you can That's go ahead smart. and keep all of your adapters. Yeah. And it's a rechargeable battery, so you don't have to worry about. Right. Which, by the way, I, I, I like the fact that it comes with the case. I think mm -hmm. that's so cool. So it comes with the case. Here's the rechargeable battery that uh, Justin was just talking about. And then, of course, all the tips. And then, so I can even, you know, recharge on the go, too, right? Yeah, I, I think this is great. So this should be in every single car. <laughs> yeah, right? no kidding. I, I mean, this is, this is like a no-brainer, right? If you have anybody who's a young driver, we yeah. know we get in the car and like, you know what that light means? It means you need more air in your tire. Oh, is that what that means? Yeah. Now they can go ahead and be able to inflate their tires. But the best part, too, is, is that if the battery was running low or perhaps maybe Maybe you're thinking to yourself, I'm at my car, I don't want to use the battery. There's actually an AC adapter, excuse me, DC adapter or cigarette adapter, yep. as yeah. we know it better as. And you can go ahead and plug this in and then be able to go yeah. ahead and use your air compressor. I think that's so smart. And you know, the thing is, I, I grew up on a farm and I remember the, the air compressors my dad had and mm -hmm. wow, they were scary. I mean, I would, were, I would never, you know, they were big. <laughs> loud. <laughs> loud. Right? Uh, I mean, I, I, I never would use them. I mean, and it was so funny because my dad would drag the that gun thing out because I used to play volleyball too and oh, it's okay. like just to, to inflate a little itty bitty right. volleyball yeah. this is the just right air compressor it still has the power but it's just much more functional much more versatile and user friendly as and well I, I was just going to say it's so easy to it you is. know it, it kind of looks like a like a drill yeah right actually, and that's the right. factor that it is it's so simple and easy to use you're not going to a gigantic air compressor yeah. because you think you're you know you, you don't have you're not a mechanic right, yes. right in your garage this is something can be seeing it in your car, in your garage. And what I love about this is we do the little, you know, the finger press, right? right. Uh, it's definitely flat, obviously, it's a sure. flat tire. All we have to do now is we read the PSI on our tire. Now this could be our bicycle, this could be our motorcycle, this could be the tire on our vehicles. We set it right here with the plus and minus buttons. It's very easy to read. All I have to do is press the trigger button and then set it and forget it. Yeah. I can walk away. Nice. Go get a drink inside. Yeah. And it's going to automatically turn off. I love that feature. I think that is so cool. It, it is. So you can never over or under inflate. It's going to be... Pre oh, look at that. He and that's did it. it. Did and it on its own. And I, I know you were, you're from Minnesota. Yes. I yeah. was living up in Minnesota for a few years. Oh, yeah. And it's cold. Yes, right? it There's is. There's nothing worse than having to go to a oh, gas station man. and inflate your tire when it's 30 degrees no. out, right? Wouldn't it be nice to be able to do it in the comfort of your home? Yeah. Do it in your garage. You're not for sitting sure. on, the, uh, on the road 
motor and the you know, nope. in the driveway of a gas station, no. like you said, trying to find quarters, which yeah, is impossible exactly. to do. Exactly. <laughs> you toss your whole entire car around. Do it in the comfort of your own home, right here with just a simple. For air sure. Compressor. I think that's so smart. So whether we're talking about sports activities, the inflatables um, for the pool for the kids, you will use this. I mean, not just in the summer months. If it's if you're going camping, glamping, you got to be comfortable. Gotta you got go. You got that air mattress, right? <laughs> yeah. You're going glamping. You're going right? glamping. I mean, let's be real. And now what are we just going glamping when we're going to the pool, we're going to the lake, we've got to have our cool little floaty. We've got to stand out, right? Of it's like, been like the whole new thing. Yeah. My sister's a teenager and she wanted the big swan. Well, it was a great gift for her, but I didn't realize I was going to have to blow it up. <laughs> and I got to tell you, that thing stays inflated, uh, yeah, right? I'm no not, it will never be deflated again no. unless I decide we're just going to poke a hole in it and yeah. it'll be the end of it. But if you're one of the, uh, you know, the grandparents or parents that are like, okay, well, yeah. right, we got to do the swan, we got to do the unicorn, blowing up the pool toys. And I got to say, Grandma, I don't know how you were able to do it when I was growing up, whether it was my little floaties, yeah. my little pool toys. It's going to make it so much easier to do poolside also. I, I think they made them bigger, though, didn't they? I mean, we were kids. I remember They've when grown kids, exponentially. It's, it's, like, it's like as time goes on, they keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Absolutely. All right. I know we don't have a lot of time left in the mm -hmm. show, so uh, we got a lot of things to get to. Remember, this is, uh, again, we've sold most of our inventory for the birthday month already, so definitely take advantage of it. This looks familiar to a lot of people. Yeah, and, and you know, Sad. this is what you sound like after blowing up the giant swan. <laughs> Just give me a second, I'll be done. Now, this is typically what we have to blow up our bike tires. Uh, it's going to take you forever, yeah. right? Uh, you're not going to be using this for your car tires. Now, here's another air compressor, which it is a true air compressor, but you're going to have to use it and plug it into your car. For so sure. you're going to have to be by a vehicle. Again, if you can't reach it, if you, you wherever your, maybe your tire is, again, if it's your boat tire yeah. or, uh, on your trailer, you're not going to be able to reach it no. from your car, right? Nope. And you're not going to be moving your tire. So this yeah. is great. You're going completely wireless and hands-free. Right. Here, I, I think this is perfect for if you're a drummer and you want to work <laughs> yes, out your calves, exactly. right? If you're, you're wanting to have the, you're going glamping, you want to make sure your calves look good when you're going to the pool, this is perfect. For sure. And then here's your temporary fix. <laughs> yeah. This never those. seemed safe to no, me because the whole know, idea of all of this toxic yeah. stuff lying all over Place. I know. And it's just a temporary fix. Yeah, it makes if me nervous. If you're thinking of being able to just go ahead and inflate your tire enough where you can go to right. possibly a, a, you know, a mechanic store so you can go ahead, or a tire store so you can go ahead and get a new tire, right. okay, you're going to want to be able to grab an actual air compressor instead of having to fill this up because once you do this, your tire's done. You yeah. can't get it patched up. Right. So you can go ahead and have a temporary fix, which just by putting more air in your tire and be able to drive over there. Yeah, it's so smart. So I know we've only got a couple minutes left in the presentation. When we said that it was small but mighty, you yes. might still be looking at this insane. Uh, yeah, but what's it going to do for the really heavy things? Justin, talk about what we're going to see next. Yeah, so when we say small and mighty, we're not talking about me. We're actually talking <laughs> about the air rock here. And this is absolutely amazing. There's actually 70 pounds of river rock in this wheelbarrow. Oh, wow. And this really is just testament to the fact that, of course, this is a flat tire, but the power, again, this is an actual piston that's inside of it. We already have it preset to what the tire needs to be. All I have to do... Press the trigger, it's going to start to inflate. In just a few seconds, it's going to automatically turn wow. off. And you can see it's lifting the 70 pounds Holy of river. Wow, okay. That's that's impressive. Because you're right, you load the dirt or the concrete or whatever up in the wheelbarrow and well, wah, 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 wah. Well, it's a wheelbarrow, there. right? Yeah. That front tire gets beaten and it bashed does. against every single thing For uh, sure. in the world. Again, we're, it, we're, again, just in a few seconds, that's going to turn off. In the meantime, so I want to cool. say, okay, look, when it comes to the beach balls, this is a little one. Yeah. There can be some pretty big oh. beach balls out there, right? No kidding. <laughs> Go ahead, simply blow up your beach ball in just a few seconds. You're going to be able to have the beach ball. The kids yeah. are going to be able to play with, and they're going to be able to enjoy. Or perhaps, you know what? You don't... We're going to be able to inflate this. There we go. We're inflating. How long is this going to take you? How many breaths? It's oh, like how man. many licks to the center of the, of the tipsy pop, right? Okay, now Fantastic. we're good. Fantastic. But boy, if you're the soccer mom or the soccer dad, oh, you're going to be the, number one because that's <laughs> just it. If, whether you're coaching or, you know, playing sports, this is perfect. Uh, I do need you to know that we have sold through a good portion of our entire birthday inventory. So, oh, 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 no kidding, Daryl. Is I was going to ask about the flashlights. Huh. Oh, okay, you know what? Breaking news, as Ooh. they say. If you were trying to get through on Justin's flashlights, I think, are they officially spoken for? Okay. They are. See? Could have, would have, should have. Those are the flashlights. You are totally going to be happy They with are those. indeed. So, but see, that's what I mean. Uh, when you, when we, we do try to give you a quantity update, 
It is definitely worth your while to take advantage of it. So again, we have also sold a good portion of our birthday inventory on the air compressor. So definitely keep calling on that. All right, we have time for one more. Oh, no kidding. We're moving along to the Bionic Hose. And don't say I didn't warn you. The 100 foot, which has actually been our most popular,